You have to admit, most people would rather undergo a purely recreational colonoscopy than listen to someone lecture on sexual harassment. <laughs> when people bring me in to speak on the topic, I can feel the audience mentally putting their fingers in their ears. Sometimes they even begin looking at their watches and I haven't even started speaking yet. They quickly do change their minds when I start talking, fortunately, and that's probably because of what I do for a living. I'm Dr. John Medina. I'm a scientist, a developmental molecular biologist with research interests in the genetics of psychiatric disorders. The lecture that gets their attention is entitled, Nobody's Born Sexist. It's actually a series where I spend a fair amount of time describing A, how sex works in the human brain, B, why people often make really stupid sexual decisions when they acquire power, and C, what people can do to prevent those stupid decisions from occurring in the first place. The content doesn't involve juvenile role-playing, and I don't traffic in pop psychology. I also don't do opinions. The content comes from the side of the self-help world that has evidence-based ideas and solutions as its guiding light. After all, Whatever else sexual harassment is, it's a behavior explainable by the tools of the behavioral sciences, a field muscular enough to also point the way towards prevention. Its underlying philosophy is describable by a delightful quote from Nicholas Ling, who once said, quote, ignorance is voluntary misfortune. Nobody's born sexist chooses education over ignorance. To paraphrase Donnie Miller, in the age of information, unawareness is a choice. Nobody's Born Sexist is delivered in a conversational style by me, an affiliate professor of bioengineering at the University of Washington School of Medicine, one who's written New York Times best-selling books, did a Great Courses series on the human brain for the teaching company, and has won national awards for speaking. Nobody's Born Sexist is suitable for any organization with more than one employee. It doesn't matter if you're a for-profit business. It doesn't matter if you're a K-12 school. It doesn't matter if you're a university that's been around for two centuries or a startup that's been around for two minutes. Nobody's Born Sexist delivers peer-reviewed material that can explain to your employees glass ceilings and boys clubs and their own sexual feelings. It describes how to prevent harassing behavior in the first place and what to watch out for if it shows up anyway. For some workers, it may be the first sex ed class they've had in decades. <laughs> so, if you're looking for a speaker whose content can increase employee satisfaction, bolster high-functioning teams, satisfy federal Title IX requirements, and simply keep your willingness to undergo a purely recreational colonoscopy to a minimum, well, then I'm your speaker, and Nobody's Born Sexist is your material. Nobody's Born Sexist can be delivered as both a single lecture or as a series of talks. Thanks for watching.